takes his position back in the middle of the field. And we're back to it. Second half here of the under-18s curtain raiser. Tonga, New Zealand 18s up against the Vulcans. And it is the Vulcans with a whole lot of work to do in this second spell. Although when they have completed sets, they've shown plenty of quality and a, a real desire to get the job done. So as we go back to it now, they'll work it forward via Kopua, the Karatu big man. Manase Fakosalia, who was strong in that first half. Good service from dummy half. And uh, this man as well, Julius Fafaeli, who had a good first half, carried the ball really strongly, winks off the bench. He got that boarding pass early with the loss of the player to what looked like a shoulder injury and uh, has looked really good so far, has winks. They get to the kick now, and the chase is enthusiastic from the Vulcans. Downfield they go and they set upon Tolfa, who has hardly been tackled first time today. And that time he gets tackled high. So a penalty on the first play. It was a pretty enthusiastic opening set, but uh, it finishes with a penalty. And now the Vulcans will put themselves under a little bit of pressure as the Tongans prepare to kick for touch. A little reprieve in the rain here so far. It has pelted down a couple of times in the first half. Graham Tolfa. Puts that one safely into touch. Joined again by Troy Hardy. And Troy, I've mentioned earlier, the message no doubt for the Vulcans would be just to complete some sets, something they hardly did in that first half that looked pretty good when they did. Uh, from the Tongan point of view, what do you think the main message would have been from Coach Dan Keeper at the break? Oh, he was um, you know, applauding the boys. They were working really, really well. And he felt that the Vulcans were running sideways, so they've got them over, got them over the um, barrel on that. For the Vulcans team, they wanted to do what you've already said, get the completions and kick down into the corners. That's what they need to do. So Sikahili takes the ball forward and now lining up for a carry is Payne. Zabian this time, one of two on the park. Now shows, goes back door. Tolfa, here's this man again, our centre, another try! Taniela Otukolo grabs his second try of the day. Tolfa involved again in the build-up. It's nice rugby league from the Tongan residents. And a positive start to the second half here at Birmingham Park. Auckland Rugby League action replay here. Nice ball out to the right-hand edge. And here comes the man of the hour. Everything he touches is turning to gold. And Tongans love the gold. And there's a try, big time. Another, another four points. And again, just isolating defenders on that right edge, and he's uh, got that powerful carry, a pretty good fend on him as well, and enough to carry him over the line. This is a pretty big conversion in the context of the game. Right now it's a three-score lead, and if this doesn't go over, it remains there, and the Vulcans with something to hope for at least. So Tolfa lines up from the sideline. Sorry, mate, just saying. Good, strong crowd out today as well. Up behind us, up on the hill, cars are parked, and you can see a few of the people dotted around the outside line there as that kick wow. is good. Brilliant kick from the sideline from Tolfa. Now, he wasn't on kicking duties for the first two today, and given on the evidence we've seen so far, you have to wonder why not. He's <laughs> nailed a couple of difficult ones, and uh, none more so than that one, right up against the sideline with the crowd up in his grill, but he nails it. And it is the Tongans who lead 20 points to nil. Three minutes gone in the second half here at Burt Henham Park. And the Vulcans need an answer quickly if they are to stop this game from blowing out in the latter stages. Good catch. Straight back into them. It's Zabi and Payne. Tongan middles have been great today. It's probably always going to be the case. A nice flat ball that time. Too flat, in fact. Ford is the call. And a reprieve coming up for the Auckland Vulcans. Involved that time was Jacob Holobon, another of the products who have come through this region of origin series. And, Troy, really nice to see these kids that we called in the region of origin last year coming through. And I think probably proves uh, what a quality development opportunity that series was. Yeah, and it's exciting too. And we're very fortunate to have that back at the end of um, this year's, you know, Fox season. So make sure that you catch that action because all the next stars coming off the conveyor belt will be on show. Chiming into the back line now is John Keating, who has had limited opportunities. He's been stationed down that edge where Otokolo 
has caused nightmares. Gets involved with a carry that time. Now the fullback, Corissa, jumps out. Maris Saints, man. Fakosalia is the dummy half, looking back towards the centre of the park. Links up with his halfback, Stevens Teal. And then with the back rower, Fafaeli. Fakosalia to Stevens Teal. The shuffle play on now. They go half to half. It comes back to the middle. Winks goes straight and hard. They're five short of the line here, the Auckland Vulcans, hunting their first points. 40 minutes gone, and they trail by 20. Stevens Teal dinks a little kick in behind. It's too heavy. So back out to the 20 for the restart of play. But the Vulcans finally managed to complete a set down that end of the park. And now with some good defense, can look to start wrestling momentum back. It's been a tough old day at the office so far for the Aucklanders. Looks like fresh legs about to enter the park for the Tongans as well. Etu Laui warming up on the sideline. He's got the interchange card in hand. Sikahili goes to his right, finds pain. Tackled well, though, by Akyong. Back through the middle, they come via the other pain. This is Elam. 25 out from the line. Graham Tolfa. Goes high. Under it is Tanielu. Goes up. Beautifully taken from Zion Tanielu. Under a whole lot of pressure that time. Took it beautifully. And straight on the park. Itu Laui. Wasting no time in making his presence known. And again getting involved in the tackle. Looks like he may have come on to offer Sikahili a spell. At dummy half. Left side they come now. Tuolangi. Out of dummy half. That's a good carry from Siti Kuresa. He's been good in limited involvement so far. Some classy touches of the Fupu. Tepu Lolo will kick low between winger and fullback. Tolfa back to clean that up. And then hands off to his winger, Mapa Palangi, to bring the ball back. Good carry forward here. This is the 15 Vailini Kepu. And knock on is the call. So just as I applaud the carry, comes up with the knock. And uh, commentator's curse creeping its way into representative round. Let's hope it disappears before the main game here at Burt Henham Park. Just on that main game, what a match we've got on the cards. The Auckland representative team taking on Samoa Okalani few changes to the team list, but one thing we know, the Samoan side, very, very strong. Can't wait to bring you that action. Now the Vulcans go on the attack. Vliami Finau with the first carry. They're 35 out from the line here, still hunting those first points of the game. Fafaeli. Fakor Salia heads back to Kobe in the middle of the park. Tepu Lolo. Coming back towards the middle of the park now, the Vulcans, and they're still going forward. That's a good carry from Ah Kyung, the captain, who has taken a knock there. He's struggling to get to his feet to play the ball, and he's going to need some medical attention straight away. Stevens Teal. Working the right-hand side. It looks a little disjointed right now from the Vulcans. And we're going to have Probably time off here. Wrong as we deal with the injured player. So a little break in the action, but Troy, one thing ahead of this main game kicking off today. I'm really looking forward to seeing some of the big men in action today. Connor, Todor Purcell, he's on his home turf, playing great footy in the Fox. Uh, he's going to be really fired up for this match. Uh, Tony Tuia as well. Those boys are really going to rip in today, I think. I believe so, and um, the both are in good form. And um, as you said rightly, you know, on the home ground, with family, and there'll be a number of family down here and around the park. It's, um, you know, shaping up to be an absolute classic. Looking forward as well for the Auckland team, seeing Geronimo Doyle in action. We called Geronimo last year. He picked up the Fox Rookie of the Year honours. 
Uh, we didn't get to see him in our live stream game earlier this year, but um, he's certainly a super talented player, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what he's got to offer the Auckland Rep team. Yeah, and it'll be interesting seeing him step up to, to this sort of level of football, and, um, and I dare say he's going to relish that challenge. So we prepare for play to resume here. Looks like they've um, done an interchange, mate. Yep, Trey Lolasil onto the park. He replaces his captain who has gone off injured. So with nine minutes gone in the second half, the Tongans are making a change as well. And it's going to be Vaka Sikaheli who gets a very short break. Just uh, heard on the pickup there, it's a blood change. So wipe a bit of claret away. And here come the Vulcans, a uh, little dink. Kick goes in behind. It's picked up by the Tongans, though. And nothing coming off right now for this Auckland Vulcans team, who cannot be accused of not trying today. The effort's been right up there. Ball comes loose now. Is that a knock-on? Yeah, it is. So the Tongans now making a few errors coming out of yardage, and uh, as a result, the Aucklanders get this chance to pile on some points but Troy you can tell they haven't played a lot of football together well, for some of these boys no football together it looks a little bit disjointed at times in attack and you just wonder where these points are going to come from they get back underway now via Lola Seal fresh back on the park 30 out from the line mentioned before the effort has been brilliant from the Vulcans Winks Fuck off Salia to the play of the ball. Stevens Teal out the back now. That's nice. Nothing disjointed about that play as the Vulcans look to crank things up and attack. Manasi at the dummy half will find Stevens Teal. They'll come back towards the middle of the park. And this is Asiata. 12 metres short of the line here. Fuck off Salia. Holoban goes to the line, goes out the back. Tepu Lolo brings in Lola Seal. That should be play on. It won't be though. Knock on the call, looked okay to me, but referee Green on the spot and makes the call, and this will be a handover to the Tongans, and you can just see the body language now of this Vulcans team, Troy, starting to get all a bit frustrating out there. Yeah, and it just turns out to be tough. You know, they're having a chance to try and execute and capitalise and, uh, you know, spilling the ball like that, and it's probably a tough call. However, Tongans on the rampage again. Here we go. And I'm not going to be now. It's like one. <laughs> one each way. The stats man's been kept busy. Plenty of knock ons in the last five minutes. Well, knock ons there. As you rightly said, though, you said, pointed out earlier, Tongans had a number of handling errors. Four to them and only one to the Vulcans. But it's all been in the wrong part of the park for them. So we wait for the ball. And here it comes. So. Break off the back of the scrum, and Fafaeli is taken to ground, and now they'll work it forward via Asiata. Driving those legs towards the SAS upright. Bacostalia jumps out of dummy half. Has a go at them, but there's plenty of red there, and they repel him. Right up against the line here, the Vulcans. Stevens Teal, it's a terrible ball from Holobon at dummy half. It looked to slip as it come out of the hands. And as a result, Fafaeli picks it up. And they've lost yardage on that particular play. Stevens Teal looking to do it with his footwork now. But they're on to it. Credit to this Tongan line. Brilliant so far. Last play coming up now for the Vulcans. Bakor Salia to Tepu Lolo. Tester at the back. There's Vulcans under it. It's loose. It's picked up by the Vulcans. Is that six again? No, it's not. So hand over the call. And the Tongans will survive. Threw plenty at them that time. The Vulcans put different things in attack, but nothing coming. And Dan Kepper would be super happy with his defensive team and the way they have performed on that side of the ball so far. Really, really strong, particularly on their own line. They've been tested in the second half. They jump out of dummy half now. Break, break. And straight through the middle of the park. No one to beat. It's a foot race. And it's a foot race that's going to be won, I think, by Muffy. Pulled down just short of the line. 
Ball came loose. What's the call? Knock on in the build-up, although it wasn't immediately clear. But what about that covering tackle from CT Koresa? Out of nowhere, Troy, I'd just about resign the fact that the Tongans were over the line and the fullback comes across with an inspirational tackle. Well, that's certainly um, a heart starter, that one. Heart stopper. <laughs> one of them. <laughs> yeah. Well, he had the big heart start when he went 90 metres just to be nipped at the very end. Yeah, his second uh, long-range break in this game as well, Murphy, the Wesley College boy. So the Vulcans live to fight another day. So scrum is fed. Oh, <laughs> Finau gets dumped illegally, as it turns out. Time off. Got into an awkward position there, but he got back up onto his feet, and that's a good sign. The referee's going to have a chat, though. Tolfer it is that's going to get the talking to. Captain having a little chuckle there. Now Fahu White. So Tipulolo kicks for touch. So back into it we go, and Lola Seal will be charged with the first carry. It's a good carry as well, and finds his front. Winks back through the middle. Second effort there, and penalty, the deserved result. So the Vulcans now getting a couple of things going their way, but can they find points on the end of it? It's been their big downfall so far. Have had plenty of possession down this end of the field now, but not able to find any points as of yet. 50 minutes gone as the Tongans who lead, 20 points to nil over the Vulcans. Back underway, Tristan Tuolangi with the carry. See the big Tongan flag on the sideline there. Out on force, as always, are the Tongan fans. Wrestled to ground by Tongia. Holovan plays at the line, links up with his front rower, Fio Asiata. Manasi at dummy half to Stevens Teal, back. They switch play up now. Holobin looming on the shoulder. He's worked hard today, has Jacob Holobin. Fuck or Salia. Stevens Teal dribbles the kick in behind. It's off legs. That should be six again. It's just that. Green says six again. And the Vulcans now with a golden opportunity. Stevens Teal, they'll shuffle play on. Asiata will take a settler. Bumps the ball forward to about four metres short of the line. Fako Salia goes to his left. Tepu Lolo links with Lola Seal. This Tongan defense, they just keep showing up. Back through the middle, they come now. This is Winks. Braden Winks just short. Holobin reaches low for the pass and then kicks. Was that in the script? Doesn't matter, the Tongans have cleaned it up. And once again, they got all the answers defensively to the Tongans. They show up in numbers. And now look to work this ball out via Grand Tolfer. Now yeah, that ball's loose. Off. And he's clutched at his shoulder there, Graham Tolfer. Let's hope he hasn't picked up an injury there. Some concern being shown by his teammates as well. He's limping as well. And that is not a good sign for Lani Graham Tolfer, who at this stage is going to remain on the field. Well, there was a time to capitalise after two back-to-back -back penalties and a handling error, and now they get to feed the scrum. 
Yeah, they couldn't really have asked for better possession in the second half, could they, the Vulcans? It's now time to make that count as Keating gets on the ball. This lanky winger, he gets wrestled to ground. Fakosalia to Winks. Winks goes straight and hard. Holobin to the right. He is the first receiver. Looks to play on for a moment there and then is set upon by three Tongan jerseys. Involved in the tackle that time, McLean Uhumaka. Manasseh Fakosalia will go close. They're right up against the line here, the Tongans. All the answers so far. Will that continue? A high one. A tester. Up they go. Tanielu. The ball is loose. Is that play on? No one's touched it. Hang on. We'll need confirmation from the match officials here. Knock on the call from referee Green. It was exciting for a moment there. The ball was loose. No one was on it. And what's the final call going to be? I think we're going to try. Try called in the background. And it is the number three for the Vulcans, Viliami Finau, who scores. Sorry for the confusion on that one. In the end, Finau touches down right on that in goal. Troy, which is on this uh, rakish angle down here at Burt Henan Park, halfway up the hill. But the Vulcans finally on the board. As you see them go up here, knock back off the Tongan hands if you go that way. That hand missed it, both hands missed it, and it looks like the little Kalor Park Hill. Ball was rolling up the hill and it couldn't go any further and just sat up for the, the Vulcans player there and he'd already got up and owned it at that point and there's a conversation about to happen in the slow-mo, but try what it is. <laughs> How good is that? The hill just slowed that momentum down on that ball and kept it in the field of play and the Vulcans have... The Carlow Park Hill. <laughs> Everyone will know about the Carlow Park Hill. It's famous. Right hand, right hand edge. So, stepping in to convert Carissa from the sideline. It's good off the boot, but streaks away to the left in the end. But finally, some Auckland Vulcans points. And Troy, they spent so long down there. No doubt a relief to get over the line. They rode their luck on that occasion to get there, but plenty of possession down there in the, that end of the park in the second half. Yeah, well, I hope they're not banking on two more back-to-back -back penalties and a, and, a, and a handling error. So, they, you know, hopefully it'll give them a wee bit of confidence now as we get ready for the kickoff here from Tonga as everyone gets into reset. And... Um, Four points on the board, so now they're off the mark. So back underway, it is Tonga who lead 20 points to four. 55 and a half minutes gone here at Burt Henham Park, and oh no, off the kickoff, Tonga have found touch. And the Vulcans will hand this football straight back. Had to be diffused earlier that time. Nice and slow motion. A horror show as the ball bounced dead. And as a result, now the Vulcans forced to kick. And Tonga straight back on the attack. Grand Tolfa hands off to Kepu. Sekaheli as the dummy half goes out to his left edge and links up with White, that little change of direction again. Look at the footwork of the man. Five short of the line now. The Tongans looking to put this result beyond doubt. Sikahili at dummy half, jumps over. Is he there? Green's on top of it. Play on is the call, just short of the line. Vulcans, look at the scrambling defense. And at 20 points to four down, you could forgive them for perhaps not being totally committed at this stage, but the Vulcans just keep turning up. Lowy gets the offload away. It's loose. That's got to have been knocked on. That's the call from Green as well. And handover ball about five metres out from the line. Super impressive defence once again from the Auckland side. Do you say the coach would have had, the, had his heart in his mouth there? Vulcans feed the scrum. What's the call? Go back and restart that one again.
57 and a half minutes gone. It is the Tongans who lead by 16 points at this stage. Playing 35 minute halves in these games. Look at the defense from the Tongans, and they're going to trap him in goal here. Remarkable stuff. Brilliant effort in defense. They get there in numbers and will force the turnover of ball here. And just one of those days for the Vulcans. Great kick. So Tonga hunting further points. Here's our man Tongier again, back for his second spell. Brilliant in the opening exchanges. Otukolo shuffles play on. Going back towards the middle now. Grand Tolfer with a little bit of deception. Muffy stands up one. Muffy, Muffy still going. Brilliant from the Vulcans. They deny him at the line. Ball comes loose and we wait to see whose football this will be. And I think it's an Auckland ball. Tell you what, Muffy, he's had no luck on the personal note today. Had that intercept earlier and was pulled down about 20 short of the line. Denied a try earlier on by a brilliant covering tackle from Seti Kurisa. And that time, all but over the line. And the Vulcans show up to knock it free. So Auckland working this ball now under their own end. Right on the hour mark here at Burt Henham Park. Picked up a knock there. Winks. Winks calling for the trainer. Inside the 10, the call. You can hear that from the uh, coach sideline. Once Vulcans to up the tempo. Just uh, peel a few more metres down onto Tongan's half. And they score a thing with 10 minutes to go. On the lead onto Vulcan, 20 points to four. Just as the Vulcan centralised, sorry, Corey. We're running a little bit of time behind schedule, so stay with us, ladies and gentlemen, as we get ready for the kickoff. And just before that, we've got a break. Still going now. Close to the line, it is Asiata. Fakor Salia to Holoban. Holoban goes back door. Stevens Teal, short at the line. Tackled just short. Fakor Salia jumps out, moves oh. the ball. It's a terrible pass. Play on is the call. Finau jumps out. The try scorer from earlier. Helped along by the try assist to the hill here at Burt Henham Park. Fakor Salia to Stevens Teal. Looks to the skies. Keating goes up for it. Ball is loose. Was that knocked on? Yes, it was. And it's going to go against the Tongans. So scrum to pack down. This will be Vulcan's ball. And with eight minutes to play, the Vulcans are still in this if they can find the points. But with four scored through the first hour, it looks a tough ask at this stage. It all starts here as Steven Steele prepares to feed the scrum. They jump out. We'll go straight over. Just like that, and it is the 13 Trey Lulaseal who goes over to double the score for the Vulcans. So we see the Auckland Rugby League replay, and really the scrum was just set here. There wasn't a lot going on. Ball's fed. Just a nice little pickup from the base of the scrum. Caught everybody napping. 
nice little step on the inside there on the cover defender. Slips in low. Nice try. It was good work, wasn't it? Nice bit of footwork showing and good uh, eyes up football to see that there was just that little half gap there where perhaps the Tongans weren't quite up to it defensively. And if this goes over, it's a 10-point ball game with about seven minutes to play here at Burt Henham Park. Nice. So kick goes over. So at the conclusion of this match, there will be a presentation out front for the Man Cup. So don't go too far away, ladies and gentlemen, as the Tongan New Zealand representative under-18 team comes back. So ready to restart. All of a sudden, we've got a bit of a game on our hands here, and the Tongans, while they're still in control at this stage, a bit of a fright for them late on. And into it we go. Here come the Vulcans. Kopua will take this ball forward. And every play counts now if you're the Auckland Vulcans. A brilliant effort from them so far. This team, not many of the players have played together at all. And they have fought valiantly against this quality Tongan side. Here's Jacob Holobin who has been brilliant in the forward pack. Five short of halfway now the Vulcans. Right side they come, Stevens Teal chimes in, finds his full back, who looks to shake out of one. Graham Tolfer's contact enough to take him to ground. Fakor Salia to Stevens Teal, will go high. Big chase on here from Tepulolo, was he on side? Just about managed to shake that ball free there of the Tongan grasp. And the Tongan side will go down 20 metres out from the line. It's been a little while since they had any significant possession. Has Otukolu bumps this ball forward. Just need to complete their sets and they win this game here, the Tongans. Easier said than done in these conditions, however. Payne to the line and almost through the other side. In fact, it's Tongia. Shuffle it on now. White into open space. White, only the fullback to beat. Cover coming across as he got there. Brilliant covering tackle once again. Corisa saves the try. There's bodies down everywhere for the Vulcans. And in some serious pain in back players, Finau who looks to have a bad cramp. So this will be Vulcan's ball. They need to get things moving here. Time not on their side as it stands. Ten points the gap. Now we'll get time off. Just as that time goes off, feels like it's just dropped two or three degrees, <laughs> isn't it? There's, um, <laughs> it's certainly going to have a little bit of chill coming over the Otahu's home ground. And if you have just joined us, ladies and gentlemen, just due to a number of stoppages that we have had, and uh, Corey and our camera crew upstairs, and thank you, CTAS, bringing the live stream action, is the main game of today might be a little bit delayed as we get through the presentations and we get set. But the live stream will not break, ladies and gentlemen. We're here all day, so we're not going to miss any action as we get ready now for the scrum to pack out. It's a big, big set here for the Vulcans. Less than five to play by our count. They need to score twice, at least. As Zion Tanielu is charged with the first carry. Going to need something dynamic, you would think, to get out of this end. Kopua lines up and will bump the ball forward. The Tongans won't mind this. They'll soak that up all day. Certainly the biggest side across the park. This Tongan team as they race out of the line and Tongia looks to put a shot on. Ball goes out the back and uh, Manasi Fakor Salia is on hand to clean it up. Gets a quick play of the ball as well. That's great play from the dummy half. Steven Steele will kick long. The chase is good. Here come the Vulcans. There's blue jerseys now converging down on Tolfer at the back. And good contact as well. Great kick, Chase. They're not out of this yet, the Vulcans. 
and are refusing to give up. Graham Tolford jumps out of dummy half, steals some cheap meters. Jacob Holobon, love to see his numbers today. Been busy in both attack and defense. Otto Kolo, brilliant through the middle of the park. He's come looking for work as well. Sikahili jumps out. He scored a try in the first half. A solid contributor at dummy half. Mapa Palangi is the man taking the ground about 41 meters short of the line. Now we'll go high. Keating's not back on his wing. This is going to bounce up and will bounce into touch. In fact, they need to get the scrum packed and get back to it. Here are the Vulcans. Yeah, there's a little bit of time delay there as we wait for the scrum to pack down. But the kids in the playground there do not care, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> They're having a fabulous time down here. And we're, here we go. So, off the back of the scrum, try scorer from earlier, Lola Seal. A big thank you, as Troy mentioned earlier, to CTAS up there in the conditions today, bringing us this live stream coverage. Great pictures brought to us by our cameraman, Joseph Van Grant. Kapoor with a good carry. Still driving those legs. Good contributor off the bench. Manasi at dummy half. Down the right side they come. Teal will kick long. No one's back there for Tonga, although eventually they get there and we'll bring this ball back. So it's going to be the Tongans who get up for victory here, it looks like. And worthy winners, Troy. Their performance in the middle of the park, very, very solid, particularly those starting bookends who laid some great groundwork oh. as we see the ball turned over, but this will go back Absolutely. as a penalty. What's that? The penalty's called? So the Tongans will kick for touch here. But, yeah, look, easy to look at their forward pack, I think, Troy. But for me, the standout, Chaniela Otukolo, who has just been outstanding in the centres. He's come looking Absolutely. for work, scored yep, two with, tries, yeah. and, yep. uh, and their best dangerous. attacking weapon. Absolutely. And look, Corey, just as uh, we wait for the tap to come, hearts, thoughts with Zay Wallace and his family today, you know, coming up near 2.30. So from all of the Auckland Rugby League, all of the Rugby League fans, our hearts go out to you guys today, and, um, you know, prayers are with you all. Absolutely. Thoughts with the Northcote faithful. As the Tongans prepare to get us back underway. And here's Tongia lining up for another one. He wants more. Great Loving carry. every minute of it. He's had a fantastic game. Has feel Tongia. Right side they come. Now holds it up. Watch for Taniela Otukolo. Would dearly love a hat trick. Here he is on the ball. He's got Tongia on his shoulder. Great defense though. Strong carry. Put to ground by Zabian. Out the back they go. Grand Tolfa to the line. This Vulcans team refuse to give up. Left side they come now, the Tongans, as they hunt their final points of the game. They'll get it. Vaileni Kepu over for the final try of the game. Deserving as well, has worked hard in the middle of the park, and that time just catches that tired defense with a strong carry. So as the siren goes in the background and we prepare to conclude here. See on screen there, Kepu going over for that final try. The Tongans, worthy winners today. A brilliant effort from them. Well done to the Auckland Vulcans. A squad pieced together fairly late on this week due to a number of injuries and, and unavailabilities. They have certainly done themselves proud here. We're going to have the conversion here, so we're just going to need our cameraman to uh, focus on the kick as we finish this match off. So the last play of the game, and it is away. The Tonga ends it under 18s. They win this one, 24 points to 10.
over the Auckland Vulcans 18s. That does it for our coverage, ladies and gentlemen. We'll join you pitch side now for the post-match festivities. And very shortly on field will be presentation of the Man Cup to the winning Team Tonga, along with the Player of the Day trophy. Welcome everybody. What a great day in regards to showcasing young rugby league talent in Auckland. It's heartening to see that the fact that all these players come out of the local comp and when you look at the size, the skill and the pace that the game was played, we're in pretty good stead in regards to the class in, in the Auckland Rugby League. To the Auckland boys, it's just a lesson. One, you're wearing the Auckland jersey and you should be proud of doing that and two, the Tonga representing your country. That is an honour indeed. Um, quickly moving through the player of the day. I think the name's been given to me. Number three, Taniela. Oh, it was a good game. And uh, um, all the boys are player of the day today. And yep, thank you. Oh, I love you, mum. Thank you, mum. Right, next. 
the George Mann Cup. It's a famous cup. Last year, Auckland played Tonga, and unfortunately, Auckland took the cup away. But you must be proud today to take this cup back to the Tonga. Um, it, the Nguyen family in, in New Zealand holds a high prestige in regards to not only rugby league, but the Tonga community. So it was a great privilege to give you the cup today. Captain, come forward. Um, firstly, I'd just like to thank the Heavenly Father for giving us another beautiful day to play the game that we love. Um, firstly, big ups to Dwayne Man for allowing us to play for this cup. Um, big ups to Vulcans. Uh, you guys should be proud of your guys' efforts. Uh, we saw the team list and we were like, wow, well, boys better back up because you guys uh, have fire power everywhere. But I think that big ups to you guys. You guys should be proud for what you guys have done. Uh, to my boys, first off, I'm the boys. We came out with a goal and we managed to get it done. So I'm there. I love you boys, good stuff. Uh, big up to you all, ARL. Thank you for hosting us and allowing this opportunity as well as to Eruhu. Thank you. Have a good day. Just in conclusion, uh, yes, miss. big thanks go out to the ARL, to Otahu Club in regards to providing this historic field for us. Um, going forward, the expectation is that these weekends will take place every year and we want you to front up, play good rugby league, make sure that rugby league's at the forefront. Thank you. And very shortly the main game will commence between Auckland and Samoa. Just a reminder to the supporters, could you please stay behind the ropes? And we would ask the Auckland and Tottenham teams if they could please vacate the field. We have an eight game coming on. Thank you.